In this video, I'm going to go over the solutions to skills quiz two. Question one, we're given a graph and we're asked some questions about limit values of the function represented by the graph. So in question 1a, we're asked what is the limit as x approaches negative one from the left of f of x. So if I just look at to the left of negative one, look at that portion of the graph as I approach negative one, I can see that the graph is, a, has, is approaching this point, which has y coordinate of one, two, three. And so that's going to equal three. All right, in question 1b, we're going to approach negative 1 from the right. So to the right of negative 1, we are going to be on this branch of the graph. And as the x coordinates approach negative 1, the y coordinates are also approaching negative 1. So the, in the limit, approaching negative 1 from the right, we'll get negative 1. And so now, um, since we just saw, oh, but here we're approaching positive 1, excuse me. So here we're approaching positive one. Now, whether I'm coming from the left or from the right, you can see that the y coordinates grow in a positive direction without bound. And that is our definition for the limit value equaling infinity. And then for what value of, or values of a does the limit as x approaches a of f of x not exist? Um, well, that's going to, it does not exist when a equals negative one. That's the only one where it's absolutely clear that it does not exist. Um, for us, the limit still exists when the limit is infinite, but if you said that the, uh, the limit does not exist when equals one, um, uh, I'll, I wouldn't take off for that. Um, but um, really the, the value of, of a that you must include is a equals negative one. Let's move on to question two, where we are using the function g of x is the greatest integer value of 2x plus 1. So we might want to think about this for a minute here, that um, we know about the graph, even though we're not required to, to draw the graph, well, let's take the time to go over what the graph looks like. For the graph of y equals the greatest integer value of x, we know that it's going to be stepping up at the integer values from you know, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and so on in the negative direction or in the positive direction. So we can do a little algebra here that would say that 2x plus 1 will have steps when uh, 2x plus 1 equals negative 2 or negative 1 or 0 or 1 or 2. So we could subtract one from each side, divide both sides by two, and so we should have steps up, jumps at negative 1.5, negative one, negative 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and so on. So every half step, we're going to have a jump. Uh, so, uh, and the, but we didn't change the jump size. The jump size is still gonna be one jump up. And, um, we could also think of uh, using function transformations, multiplying x by two on the inside of the function results in a compression in the horizontal direction 
of a factor of two. And then the plus one says that we would shift the graph up by one. So we know that every half step we're going to be shift, we're going to have a step up of one. And, uh, you know, maybe we just need to think of, you know, where is our first step going to be? And so uh, we could just go ahead and put in a value, say like of one quarter, 0 0.25. And so I may want to go ahead and think that, okay, if I have the greatest integer function of two, times 0 0.25 plus 1. Well, that's going to be uh, the greatest integer value of 1.5, which is just 1. So at a quarter, we should be at one. So then we know that, okay, we're always gonna step up. Of course, the, if we have at zero, I'd have the greatest integer value or greatest integer function of one, which will just be one. So we have these steps. The length of the step now is one half, but you jump up one. And at the right end of the step, the, we have an open circle indicating that um, the value is not at that part of the graph. And at the left end of the step, we have a closed circle or a shaded circle indicating that, yes, the function value is at that point right there. All right. So the actual question says, what's the, the value of g of 2.2 and g of negative 1.4? So uh, g of 2.2 would be the greatest integer function of 2 times 2.2 plus 1 which would be the greatest integer function of 4.4 4 plus one, which would be the greatest integer function of 5.4, which is simply five. Remember greatest integer function means the integer, which is uh, the greatest integer, which is less than or equal to the number. Uh, we can also think of it in terms of the number line. What is the first integer we encounter when we go to the left of 5.44, and that integer is five. Okay, g of negative 1.4 would be the greatest integer function of two times negative 1.4 plus one which would be the greatest integer function of negative 2.8 plus one, which is the greatest integer function of negative 1.8, which will be, now what's the first integer? And I, I find when I go to the left of negative 1.8, that would be negative two. And let's just check. Looking at my graph, um, unfortunately 2.2, I don't have that on there. 2.2, my graph would not, there, but I know that I'm at three, then I would go to four, so it should be five. Okay, so that's good. And I think this will work for negative 1.4, so, this is negative one, that's negative two. Negative 1.4 would be about here. And I go down and sure enough, the y coordinate of my graph is negative two. All right, good. All right, let's see here in question 2b. We're gonna to try to find the limit as X approaches 2.5 from the left of G of X. Well, 
let's take some values that are very close to 2.5, but to the left of 2.5. So for example, what would be G? Oops. So what would be G of 2.4? Well, that would be the greatest integer function of uh, 2 times 2.4 plus 1, which would be the greatest integer function of 4.8 plus 1, which would be the greatest integer function of 5.8, which is just 5. Okay, so again, it's off my graph here, but I can see what the pattern is. Again, here I'm at 3, so between um, 1.5 and 2, I would be at 4, and between 2 and 2.5, I would be at 5. All right, so that agrees with my graph. And 2C is what is the limit as x approaches 2.5 from the right of g of x. Well, again, I could just take a, a value which is just a little bit to the right of 2.5. So let's just try g of 2.51. That would be the greatest integer function of 2 times 2.51 plus 1. So that would be the greatest integer function of 5.02 plus 1 which is the same as uh, the greatest integer function of 6.02 which will just be 6. Now, and that makes sense, right? Even though like, it, the actual value is not on the graph here, we know that every half step we're going to be jumping up by one. So if we came from the left, we were at five, but now we're coming from the right, we should be up one at six. All right, so my limit value here is six. Well, I hope this uh, short video helped you understand the solutions to Skills Quiz 2. If you still have questions, uh, please post them uh, on the Chapter 1 discussion board.